right now we're bleeding two million bucks a month without a competitor. That's like Kmart bleeding two million bucks a month, and two in two years Walmart's going to be opening. You know, so when we face that kind of financial reality, how are we going to make this turnaround situation work where? We're not going to be bleeding any more money, and when the competitor opens up, we're going to be able to respond in a way that's going to keep us viable while they're also viable. I realize there are many of these things that aren't known. For example, um, you know how much of our patients are going to end up going to the new hospital. Uh, we can take a worst-case scenario and say, gee, they're going to get all the insurance patients, and, and, and that's only approximately $30 million a year if, if we had to take worst-case scenario. So if you want to play doomsday scenario, we can play doomsday scenario. But uh, I think that many of these things right now are really not known. But we are talking uh, to the principals of the new hospital to try to see if we can ferret out. Certainly, we don't want to compete because if we start to compete, it's going to be bad for them and bad for us. You need permission to send the billing to that instruction. Uh, construction company because the, they uh, authorized it in the very beginning when they came in no uh, unfortunately the construction company is not responsible uh, they have brought the person in but they have no financial responsibility if they're each the two laborers and they they're sponsoring them here they're responsible this is what my 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 talk with director Mac the encounters that that the the, the employers right. are we'll, not we'll, responsible we'll just have but, it out in the media yeah. that I will accidentally drop the listing of the 498,000 dollars worth of billing someplace by my office and if somebody wants to find it publish it those companies will come in very quickly to pay